lovely Monday. Oh, look at that shot. It is a lovely Monday. Lovely Monday, y'all. Lovely Monday. Welcome back to Jason's show. Jason's on vacation, so Hobie and I are trying to fill in over here on the trying. couch for him. Trying being the keyword. All right, there's some of the most common pictures we see on Instagram. People sharing photos of their incredible dinners or desserts. It just makes you hunger every time you mm -hmm. open up social media. And our next guest made a name for herself as an Instagram foodie. Her Instagram account has been named to the City Pages Best of issue for four years now. Mm-hmm. Wow. Here with us with our top five dinner picks and places that you have to go for world food here in the Twin Cities is the founder of the blog and Instagram account, Eat, Drink, and Dish, Golnaz Yoma Tapur. Did I say your last yeah, name? Yeah, Tapur. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> close enough. I'm like, my last name is Mark. It's like, you just can't even like, get that wrong. No, I wrong. love that. <laughs> you just can't even get that wrong. No, okay. you're good. Now, we're going to talk about five really great global dinner spots here yeah. in the Twin Cities. And one of the first ones we're going to talk about today is a barbecue joint that you yes. think is fantastic that's just in Northeast Minneapolis. Yes, definitely. I don't know if you guys have been to Animalis Barbecue. It is no. stationed at the Able Brewery in Northeast on Quincy Street. So actually it's a food trailer behind Able Brewery. And you can go there anywhere from Thursday to Sunday. And they serve everything from um, barbecue ribs, sausage, um, tacos, everything is house made. Even the sides are amazing. He wow. puts a lot of um, just love. Is that love. coleslaw? That is um, a cabbage slaw, yes. Okay. The sauces are house made, the pickles, relish, everything. It's delicious. This is one of your pictures. This is one oh, of this mine. Looks, what's that? This is a chicken birria taco. So this is um, handmade um, masa corn tortillas, and they oh. deep fry the cheese on top and the chicken, and it's just it's one of my favorites. I'm already hungry, and we're on number one. Yeah. <laughs> this, is not, this is not shaping out to be too good. Next up, an Italian restaurant that's in St. Paul, but there's yep. also another one coming. Yeah, from Minneapolis so as they well. kind of quietly opened up in Minneapolis and uptown. They took over the old Maven spot. Mucci's Italian. Uh, if you guys know from St. Paul, you're probably familiar with them. This is the Rigatoni. They oh opened gosh. last week. Um, um, so if you're into Italian food, everything also here is house made from the sauces to the noodles. Mm -hmm. So. You can't miss it. Well, mm -hmm. you're taking these pictures, and they, I mean, they look absolutely divine. Do you ever have that moment where you're like, screw this picture? I'm just going to like, <laughs> oh my God, take a bite. all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I hate eating cold food, so I'm always tick, tick, and I'm like, I'm really conscious about that. So, so. how quick, like, like from food to table to taking the picture, how quick does that happen? Um, I'm pretty, I, I would do like five minutes, ten minutes. It depends on okay. where, what's the purpose of my visit, but if it's just with friends. A right. few minutes. Yeah. Like it's, gotcha. it's kind of my yeah. job to take a photo of yeah. this. Exactly. Like, Everyone stop. What's on your plate? Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to be an annoying friend, so I'm really conscious about that. <laughs> All right, okay. So our next pick is a Persian Mediterranean restaurant in the Northeast. Yes. Yeah. Olive and lamb? Now, yeah. this sounds like amazing to me. Yes, it is. And they also kind of quietly opened up too. Um, they took over the old marinas. And I'm Persian, so I love this restaurant. It, we only have like a couple of Persian restaurants in Minneapolis. So it's a mix of Mediterranean and traditional Persian dishes, so kebabs. Mm -hmm. um, we have some great um, old school sandwiches from in Tehran, where well, you would get from in Tehran, but you can get it here now too. But they also have burgers, they have falafels. So it's a mixture, kind of a nice fusion. So okay. if you like food, just go, you'll find something. Yep, you'll find something. And All I right, think sure. a lot of people don't know this about Minneapolis. I have a lot of Persian friends, and I'm, I had no idea that it was such a large community here. Yeah. So I'm mm -hmm. sure that it is probably a pretty big restaurant. Yeah, and it's actually growing. When I when we first immigrated here, there weren't that many, but now it's kind of blossoming, as most other um, cultures are here, too. Okay. And so. also, you have another Indian restaurant that yes. is really taking off here. Tell us yeah, about that. Yeah, so um, Namaste Cafe, which is in Uptown, so it's not new, but they did um, start a... Uh, Chut House, which is basically mm. a little um, red house that they put in their front yard. Um, and every weekend they open it up and they um, serve traditional Indian street food called Chut, which okay. is, uh, as you can see, this is, is that... Papri Chut. Yep. So it's okay. traditional Indian snack food. It's a vegetarian, crispy, savory chutneys on it, so, chickpeas. Yeah. So is it like chips? It's kind of like chips. Okay, because it looks like nachos a little bit. Yeah, a little bit like that, um, except probably a little bit healthier, a little bit more savory, and a lot of So not like flavor. melted cheese, not all No, that, and there's no that. cheese on that one. Um, <laughs> but they, um, yeah, so they every weekend you can go there. And we also are um, hosting a, an event there next Wednesday, so if anyone's interested, awesome. we'll be hosting event there. And then you can at least tell us what to get, because half the time yeah. I get intimidated by restaurants where I don't know anything on mm -hmm. the menu. And I'm exactly. just like, uh, yep. so I love when people like you are like, this is try this. Yeah, so try this and yeah. you'll love it. Yeah, exactly. All right. Now, there's another restaurant in Southwest Minneapolis. I'm going to try to pronounce this. Is it Boludo? Yeah, I think so. Oh. <laughs> yes, Boludo. So, Argentinian style pizza and empanadas. So, if you're a fan of empanadas mm -hmm. and um, who doesn't love pizza, this is actually one of our followers' pictures. So, this is. That's a lot of pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, wow. No two pizzas are ever the same. It's very. True. Um, 
you know, kind of made with love. So everything's hand tossed. There's uh, sea salt on the crust, buttery, and it's just, it's to die for. And it's a super tiny restaurant, so you get this like kind of New York vibe when you get in there. Oh gosh, that's so. Of course, amazing. you're known for taking pictures like that. Yeah. What, if you had to give tips to people who kind of want to get into your world, <laughs> what, what's help me out? I can't do right? it. What advice do you have for Kindle? There we go. Yeah. So we kind of talked about this before. Lighting is everything. So if you want to sit next to a window when you get in a restaurant, you get that natural lighting. That's key. And also angles. Make sure you just play around with the angles. Um, and then also, if you want to bring some props in, some nice vases or whatever mm -hmm. you like. Okay. Um, hand is always nice, nice hand. Make sure the nails so are pretty. So do you bring like your <laughs> own vase to the restaurant? And no, like, oh, I try yeah, to use whatever's there. Yeah. You can borrow this one, I believe. Exactly. Just return yeah. it. Thank yeah, maybe you. you want this plant. It's fine. We can find Dale K. can find us <laughs> another that one. That would be perfect. I love it. Love Gold it. Goldust, thank you very much <laughs> for you joining so much. us. To follow her, search on Instagram, Eat, Drink, Dish, MPLX.